Sarah from Average Betty here and I'm making green chili egg casserole. For all you macho guys out there, don't worry. This is a casserole, not a quiche. Every guy I've served this casserole to ends up loving the dish more than they love me. So if you're trying to make someone fall in love with you, you might want to think twice before serving them this dish. Trust me, it's no fun to be left for a casserole. I've got a large mixing bowl here and some eggs. Beat the eggs well. And this part could get a little frightening, but don't be scared. I'm gonna add some cottage cheese. And I know it seems weird, but trust me, you are not even going to be able to taste cottage cheese in this. If you're incredibly freaked out by cottage cheese, you can use ricotta. Okay, now I've got some cheddar cheese here. Oh yeah, lots and lots of cheese in this one. Cheesy! Now this is some Monterey Jack cheese. Oh yes, cheese. So now I'm gonna stir in some green chilies. These are pickled and fire roasted. They're not spicy, but if you can't take a tiny little bit of heat or flavor, maybe you should stick with the quiche. Stir this all in. Now I'm gonna add some chopped fresh spinach. Again, do not be frightened by the greenness. This is really gonna cook down too. I know it looks like a lot of spinach, but you need to do something to counteract all that cheese in there. You can use frozen spinach if you want. If you do, just be sure to squeeze out all the excess water. Oh, I guess you could use canned too, but the same thing applies if you're like Popeye and all. And it's super thick, as you can tell, but something about the cottage cheese in there, it, it gives it some levity, it puffs it up, and so is a little bit of flour and a little bit of baking powder. I've also got some pepper here and some salt. Stir this all in. So how easy was that? We're almost done. I've got a little bit of butter here that I've melted. Spread that around and pour in the egg mixture. Just get all this in here and then make sure you get it all the way to the edges and nice and level so that it cooks evenly. Cover this with aluminum foil and pop it into the oven. When it's almost done, remove the foil and bake until the edges are golden brown and the casserole is cooked through. Mmm, mmm. Those brown bits are my favorite part. And there you have it, green chili egg casserole. Just be careful who you serve this to. They might end up liking the casserole more than they like you. Don't say I didn't warn you. Get the green chili egg casserole recipe at averagebetty.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Mmm, it's a casserole, not a case.